Hello everybody and welcome back to the Envelope Art Academy. Today we are going to be working on an envelope featuring this beautiful giraffe by Elizabeth Gruba. This is part of our Envelope Academy Kit 1. And inside your kit also comes the select postage stamps, your mechanical pencil, your micron pen. It also has a, a white washi, um, Pasha pen in case we need that. And once we get started, I'm going to be using the time-lapse feature to do the sketch of the giraffe on the envelope. This is where the postage stamps will go. Then we'll talk about some things and then I will work on mixing up our paints. Um, inside your paint kit, should you buy the Envelope Art Academy colors, you will get this cheat sheet of how to blend colors to achieve different shades, which is also enjoyable. And in the comment section below, I will have a list of all of the resources. And of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Okay, so as you see, we did a rough sketch of the giraffe on the envelope. One of the things I like to do once I get an idea of how the sketch is gonna be is to use one of these gummy erasers. Um, you can get them on Amazon and I will put the link on the description notes below. They come like this. And the nice thing about them is they don't give you those eraser marks. So you're basically just lifting off some of the um, lead lines. That way you won't have such severe lines on your final product. And it kind of helps you lightly see where the traces are of the image. If there are parts that you definitely want to see that may have gotten erased, then you can kind of just go back in and give yourself some of that structure Again, it's not super important for you to erase the lines, and if you wanna leave them there, that's okay too. Definitely, we take some creative liberties when we're doing envelope art in that, first of all, this isn't watercolor paper. Second of all, this is just a source of inspiration, so if you wanna make your giraffe more orange than taupe color, feel free. If you wanna make your leaves lime instead of dark green, you can do that too. So the beauty in this is that you get to exercise creative control. So what we're gonna do next is mix up some of our paints here. I will probably make a taupey shade of orange. Um, I definitely have brown for the brown spots and I have plenty of shades of paint to make um, green and yeah, I think that's what we'll start with. And if we need any more, we'll, we'll make it up on the long way. Now that we have some of our colors mixed, I will start with the smaller paintbrush. This is by uh, Etcher Lab. They come in a really wonderful set of 10 brushes. You have flat brushes, you have round tip brushes, you have edge brushes. They're really, really great. And I love the flexibility. They have, whoops, just as um, plenty of um, bounce back, snap back onto their um, bristles. And because they come in a set with several sizes, you basically have everything you need um, for your painting projects. The other nice thing is they come in a, a cloth, kind of a canvas pouch that ties up, so it has little pencil slots, so to speak, and definitely that is um, really, really convenient if you wanna travel, and if you have other brushes in your collection, you can take some of these, put in some of the other ones, put in some of your pens, that's one of the things I really like about this set. Okay, so as I'm talking, I'm painting some leaves. I'm going to let these dry before adding some dark color, so I thought I would get that done first. I'm also going to let that dry before painting in this giraffe with some of my orangey brown color right here. Um, let's see what other colors we can tend to. We can get a little bit of brown going in the ear. Looks like it's gray and brown, so I will start, probably should have started with some of that gray color. But again, this is totally up to you. You do not have to follow the lead of what's on the envelope. You don't have to follow my lead whatsoever. I'm gonna use this brown, add a little bit of blue to it. 
I, sh I keep telling you guys I'm going to call these by their official names. What I'm going to do is mix up a little bit of darker shade here of brown for this tree branch. Remember, tree branches have all sorts of wobbly edges and bends and curves, so you definitely have some flexibility there. Looks like it's kind of going into the giraffe's mouth. And just make sure it touches some of these leaves. Um, the brown spots I think we'll do last, and the eyes I think we will do that after as well. All right, I'm going to speed this up and paint a giraffe. I think the draft is pretty much dry. And if you notice when I was painting, I did not worry too much about going over into these spaces of our predetermined spots because we can paint over those with brown. I also was a little careless here with the top, but I'm probably gonna use a black pen to add some definition. And when we do that, we can accentuate some of the um, colors and outlines. So now I'm just using a little bit of the dark green to add some highlight lines into these um, leaves. Kind of how she has them on the envelope. It's not necessary, but if you want to do that, you definitely can. And I'll probably use my uh, black pen to add some details to that as well. She has some little yellow flowers in here. I think I will add those in. Or they look like little buds from these um, leaves. So I thought I would just add a few of those in. And I noticed I forgot a little stem there. So I'm gonna see if I can grab that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, the other thing that we wanna do now is work on our brown. So what I'm gonna do is add the eyes and add the brown spots, and then we'll come back together and talk about the fine lines done in black. So in between little video clips, I have taken the time to let this dry. And you may have noticed that I messed up the eyes a little bit because the brown was not quite dry. And when I put the gray in, it got um, a little bit smeared. So I just took a little piece of tissue or paper towel and dabbed it off and painted it again. But I also knew that I was gonna try to create some little eye lashes on here. And so I'm not gonna worry too much whether or not it was smeared. I'm also gonna use my pen to kind of accentuate some of the detail along the giraffe. Um, I think I'm gonna leave the outside how it is, but I am gonna put a little bit of black lines along these leaves. And I think I'd like to put a little bit of black lines kind of around the nose and just around part of these spots not the whole thing, but just so that there is a little bit of detail work on here. All of this is definitely up to you. You don't have to add the details at all. You can leave it as it is. You can do the entire animal if you'd like, but I thought that might give it some a little bit of pizzazz. All right, I think we're done. So if you guys have any questions, be sure to let me know. And thank you for joining me today on this installment of the Envelope Art Academy.